This robot is the greatest science project ever! Look, Daddy's coming. Uh-oh. Hopefully he'll get distracted by something and not ask to help. We're safe. Saved by the microwave. I just don't understand why they don't want me helping with Haley's science project. Maybe they didn't want a repeat of the Ikea incident. You make it sound worse by labeling it an incident and sticking the word THE in front of it. And what would you call it? A discussion with an employee about a poorly written set of assembly instructions. For a horribly designed product. It was supposed to be a bookshelf. That is now installed. That falls every time we put a book near it. We needed a place to put our feather. It's the world's first feather shelf. This is all Ikea's fault. Not according to the judge. We probably wouldn't have shopped there for the next three years anyway. The restraining order bans anyone with the last name Burgess from the physical Ikea store, commenting on their online product reviews, or even looking at any other store in that shopping center. Trader Joe's is overrated anyway. Toys R Us too? Regardless, you kids don't have a place to put any more toys. Maybe we could if we had more shelves. That is so not fair. There just seems to be a theme of issues whenever you're involved in the assembly of anything. I'm just a little disappointed that they didn't even ask me for help. Maybe they just wanted this to be a mother-daughter thing. You know, just the two of them. Maybe the two of us could do some kind of project together. Maybe we can go outside and fix the swing set. I was thinking about something more inside-like and with fewer tools. Guess I'll go get your bed ready for a nap then. Hold in. Just the one I'm looking for. Hey, Daddy. Hold in. You know, maybe the two of us can do a project together. <laughs>